Bhaktias Pasheshva Asaktatma Vindatya Atmani Yatsukha Sa Brahma Yoga Yuktatma Sukham Akshayam Ashinti Om Shanti 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 Tari Yom Tats Bahya Sparsheshwa Asaktatma Asakt, Anasakt, Detached One who is detached from all sense pleasures. Sense perceptions, you can say. That is, one who does not seek one's fulfillment in the sensual pleasures, but would rather seek his fulfillment living in the self or in devotion, in saying the name and qualities of the Lord, in knowing the truth, in purity. Vindatya Atmani Yat Sukham. Vindatya means one who finds Atmani Yat Sukham. Atma means Sukh in the self. So Brahma Yoga Yukta Atma Sukham Akshayam Ashnate. He finds Akshay Sukh, infinite bliss. And he deserves the experience of the self. Sir so, Brahma Yoga Yuktatma Sukham Akshayam Ashnuti. It is a necessary prerequisite. Withdrawing the mind from its various formations. The formations of last time, what were we discussing? Bhog, Apeksha, Ichha, Sensual Pleasures, Expectations and Desires, if your mind is involved in these three, forget about the knowledge or the experience of the truth. You cannot even be happy. You cannot even be peaceful. The mind will run helter-skelter. If you go all over the place, you will not be able to quiet it, make it still. It is impossible. One of you had asked a question that you are in a relationship. But your boyfriend is very tamasic by temperament. You did not know about it earlier, but after you did the retreat, you came to understand his various characteristics. You say that he is a narcissist. One who, jo shabd hai na, atma mugdha rehta hai. He just admires himself and seeks admiration from others and has little empathy for the feelings of others. You say that he remains confused all the time he lives in the past all the time and keeps blaming somebody or the other for his misery. 
you further say that he is sometimes blaming blaming his family sometimes his friends sometimes even his mother sometimes his uncles and sometimes your family sometimes even you and remains either sad or irritated most of the time you say that he does not work much hardly one two hours a day and feels as if he has moved the mountains whenever you talk to him he is tired he is not feeling good he has extreme mood swings you say you say that today he will be in a good mood he will talk to you for an hour but then for 7 days 10 days he will not even call you back or respond to your calls he is very irresponsible in his work etc etc this is one aspect of your question the other aspect is you are saying you are still very attached to him you love him from the bottom of his of your heart but in the last few years that you are in a relationship with him you say you have only seen experienced misery suffering there have been hardly any times when you were really happy in his company but you are in love what should i do you are asking you know there is a couplet in the bhagavad gita where krishna says you can be your own best friend and you yourself are your worst enemy you can be your worst enemy even i feel you belong to the second category it's not about him it's about you you are your own worst enemy tum apni sabse badi dushman ho although you also say that you love krishna and you want to have devotion for him you want to surrender yourself but you don't even understand what it means your intellect is too gross right now your understanding is to blunt because it is completely covered by the three things that i just mentioned bhog apeksha ichha bhog apeksha ichha when these three are predominant is are very strong in your mind you cannot take right decisions your discriminative faculty becomes too blunt the sharpness the subtlety it goes for the toss you have done the retreat it does not mean that you know you will be blissful all the time you are not following what was taught in the retreat let us come back to the essence of what we learned let us practice the mantras and the inquiry and please make your best effort to detach if you really want to find fulfillment in life if you really want to have 
unswerving devotion, ananya bhakti, and if you really want to practice surrender, apply the mantras on the situation and dissolve the entire thing from the mind. The mantras are not something that I have coined or I have invented. This is the dharma being taught since ages. And the dharma always remains the same. The dharma, these mantras are true in any age at any point of time at any place. So once again contemplate and for the rest of us we ought to apply the mantras on our own dependence, our own expectations, our own fixations, our own attachments. How do you come to know that you are attached? The thoughts will tell you. The X factors, dig them out from the mind. They will tell you the ifs and buts that are still alive in the mind. They will tell you where all you are attached. Oh, I wish he could understand me. Oh, I wish she, she would do this for me. Oh, I wish my son would do this. Oh, I wish my daughter would do that. Oh, I wish my husband would listen to me. Any thought coming to the mind is only showing that I am trying to find my fulfillment in somebody else, somewhere else, and that never happens. Once again, straighten the priorities. Once again, let us center ourselves in the mantras, let us ground ourselves in the mantras. If thoughts still disturb us, we will do the inquiry. We will practice with the bells five minutes each. Six mantras, five minutes each. Whenever we say the mantra, we are totally aligned with the mantra. 100% aligned with the mantra. We feel it in that moment. We understand it and make a resolve that this is how we have to live our life. Let us practice, please. Pure joy is pure observation. Shudhananda Shuddha Drishti. Turn into X, please. Your observation. Watch your own thoughts, watch your own conditionings. Stand aside and be a witness. In this moment, Shuddha Drishti, Brahma Drishti. Satya Drishti. Nitya Drishti. Me dependent for my happiness and fulfillment upon somebody else. Now I am out of this tree. I let go of my dependence. I 
I have woken up from the dream. Somebody is tamasic, none of my business. I am an observer. I am not involved anymore. I don't expect that people should change. If they have to, they will. If they don't have to, they will not. Each person, whatever the traits are, is a marvel in himself, in herself. I am detached. I don't have any expectations from anybody. I don't have any desires from anybody. I used to have, but now I am out of the dream. I am no longer lost. Shuddha Drishti, pure observation. It is all the play of the self. What is the conditioning here straight away? Let's come to the conditioning. The partners give stable fulfillment to each other, stable happiness to each other. It is necessary to have a partner. Do they give stable happiness? Or is it only a relief measure? Can anybody else cause completeness in me? Is it not just an illusion? My mind seeking, my mind dependent, me feeling incomplete, is one state of the mind and the same mind can change its perspective. I am fulfilled within myself. With him or without him. With them or without them. I am complete. Pure joy is mindful balance. Shudhanand Jagrit Samata. I want to remain balanced now. I don't want to lose my balance, get imbalanced just because somebody else is. I have broken that connection. When he is sad, I am sad. When he is angry, I get irritated. When he screams at me, I start crying. Enough. I have broken the connection in my mind. His mood swings, their mood swings, their business, not mine. I choose to remain poised whatever the situations are, whatever people do, my peace, my compassion, my freedom, my business, their, their business. I am not here to change anybody. I am here to attain the state of a Jeevan Mukta, to be free, free of the mental turmoil, free of the bondages that I have 
created in my mind, in my imaginations. I let them go. I would rather stay in mindful balance than chasing somebody and get imbalanced again. My business, turn around. My fulfillment coming from somebody else, turn it around. My fulfillment coming from me. My com fulfillment coming only from the self. Only from the truth. And not from any illusion. Another conditioning, the partners should not blame each other, should understand each other. Turn around. I should not blame anybody, even him. I should not blame anybody, even him, even my parents. Even my siblings, even my boss, nobody. He is like a mirror to me. He is telling me what all I need to correct in my life. In my thinking. He blames his mother. I also blame my mother. I should be careful. He blames his family, his friends. I also do it once in a while. Now I'll be careful. And the turn around. I accept people as they are. But acceptance does not mean that I have to stay with them for life. My sadhana, my practice, my devotion, my truth, my meditation, my knowing the self is far more important than my bhog, sensual pleasures, expectations and desires. Between the two, I would rather choose my freedom and devotion. Sada Samta, in all situations I choose to remain peaceful, equanimous, poised. Pure joy is total acceptance. Own Samarpa. Purna Samarpa. Total acceptance of the uncontrollable. The behavior of people you cannot control. Because there is some such strong impetus, force of the mind, force of the personality, force of the three qualities, that it is very difficult for anybody to transcend it. When I find it so difficult within me, how can I change others who don't even know about the mind? Most of the people in the world don't even know about the existence of the mind. Most of us are too asleep. Most of us are living in that long dream and we don't want to wake up. And it is not my responsibility to wake anybody up. My only responsibility is to wake myself up. And if somebody 
with an open heart comes to me sincerely asking for guidance i am always there but unnecessarily trying to change others i don't do it anymore so uncontrollable i don't want to control unpredictable i don't want to control i don't want to even predict each chapter each page of my life i will read when i will open it when the right time comes each day a new page i don't want to predict anything or control in total acceptance that is what poorn samarpan is poorn samarpan to the will of the universe you can call krishna you may say christ to you may say divine mother you may say total surrender total acceptance of the various imperfections that i used to perceive as imperfections not anymore everything is the way it should be what is is tamas is the way it should be now whether i engage with tamas or not is my choice i don't want to engage anymore it only makes my mind restless i have to protect myself i have to put a fence around myself but without any malice without any hatred without any sense of superiority without any guilt without any fear total acceptance पूर्ण समर्पण पूर्ण समर्पण का अर्थ है पूर्ण दया निसंकल्प हो जाओ आई लेट गो ऑफ माई एफर्ट टू कंट्रोल द फ्लो ऑफ इवेंट्स फ्यूचर पास्ट वॉट एवर विल बी विल बी वॉट एवर वॉज वॉज what is is your joy is peaceful completeness shudhanand shant purnata i could see therefore peace therefore fulfillment therefore bliss anand therefore love love conditionless no x factor can distract me anymore he was an x factor i accept it but not in this moment not this moment for good complete i am and i bless him from that state of completeness and i let go of all my dependence he has mood swings it's okay his life his mind he remains confused he only admires himself nobody else he is callous it's very okay with me now i 
I have to see that I don't have mood swings. I have to see that I don't remain confused. I have to see that I don't keep blaming others. That is my best case. I have to see that I find my completeness within myself. कंप्लीट मैं पूर्ण हूं मैं कृष्ण प्रेम में पूर्ण हूं मैं ठाकुर जी के प्रेम में पूर्ण हूं मैं ठाकुर जी को पूर्णतया समर्पित हूं आई एम कंप्लीट इन द सेंस द नोशन ऑफ इनकंप्लीटनेस वाज जस्ट एन इल्यूजन and i have dropped that illusion from my thinking nobody else can complete me i have understood i have only suffered in my life whenever i sought my completeness in others from others they have never given me that they have only made things worse i let go now of this illusion i plus x equals c illusion i let go now he will be in my life on by condition up until now i have suffered enough you also wrote that you had had a breakup many times in the last few years four times you wrote and then once again you start crawling on the ground begging him shame on you somebody wants to go away let him let him go don't be a beggar loving kindness akarana shuddh prem loving kindness you have to cultivate not attachment not a asakti careful understand the difference true love blooms from the state of completeness from the state of incompleteness only begging blooms only misery blooms I understand that letting go can be painful but if it is right if you yourself feel that it is right you have to take this bitter pill be strong love does not mean that you have to become a beggar be strong
and be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Love the self. You are asking how to cultivate love for Krishna when your mind is multi-pointed, when your understanding is multi-pointed, you cannot develop love for Krishna. It's only lip service that you do. Bas zaban hiladi. Main to devotee hoon, main to devotee hoon. Bakwaas kar rahe ho to. It's lip service only. Your entire perspective has to change. Your entire thinking has to evolve now. From these mundane pleasures, the worldly pleasures, now you have to move forward and find your bliss only in devotion, in truth, in the self. Coming kindness for one and all. For him also. For everybody. Nobody excluded. But with certain people, we only have to be more careful. They tend to distract us a lot. So detachment and loving kindness, the combination of the two, running in the mind and heart together. Love and knowledge, Gyan or Prem, dono ikatthe chaleng. Love, knowledge, and detachment from your mental formations. All of them have to go hand in hand. What you call love, if it gives you suffering, it is not love. This is a simple test. There are so many other things mixed in it. I am not saying that love is not there. Yes, it is there. But it's not clean. Pure joy is here and now. Shuddhananda, Jeevan Mukti, Abhi Yahi. Now is the time. Here is the place. Now is the time. All the rest, only imaginations, only manovrittis, mental formations, only dreams. Here is the place. All the rest, dreams. With somebody else, with at some other place, at some other point of time, dreams. <coughs> I am free now. Right now, right here, I am complete. I am free. No should remaining, no should not remaining. 
no desire, no aversion. I just go with the flow. I love going with the flow. I love this life of surrender, of devotion, of truth, of meditation, of inquiry, of mantras. I love myself living in the moment eternally. Full of joy, awareness, and love. Right now I am free and I choose to remain free. all the time. I am not a victim anymore to any person, to any situation, to any incident. I don't blame anybody. They are all following their conditionings. It's okay. It's okay. I accept that they are only following their X factors and conditionings. I bless them all and I tell them Godspeed. Go your way. But for me, this is the way. I equal C is my way. Completeness within me. Completeness in the self is my way. And I make a resolve that I live this life of freedom, this moment onwards. This is how I want to live. This is how I am living. I am free now. I am free. I am blissful now. I am Shuddha Ananda Se Bharadva. I am Puna Ananda Se Bharadva. I am Akaran Bhakti Se Bharadva. I am Akaran Prem Se Bharadva. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashche Dukkha Bhag Om Shanti 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 Hari Yom Tats May there be peace, peace and eternal peace in the hearts of all of us and in the hearts of all beings. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bless you all. May you all live in freedom and joy and love all the time. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs>